Hi, and welcome to another episode of Top Vaults. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Porsche uh, 917K. So that's the Skeletrix Porsche 917K, and it's the C46, uh, first released in 1973 uh, from their 14th edition catalog. Um, these are a, are a really lovely car. Um, very well put together. Um, they're made in Spain running the RX motor um, with quite a nice setup on the guide. Uh, you've got like the, the split guide, um, which makes it quite effective really on the track. Um, quite long braids on this as well, um, because the guide itself is actually quite long. Um, but nice bit of detail at the back with like a, you know, the little spare wheel at the, under the back there. Um, but overall, the, the 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 actual look of these cars and the feel are, are great. Um, scale wise, they look perfect. They really do. Um, you've got quite a lot of detail um, around this car, especially coming around the back. You've got all the detail under here. Um, like I said, it runs the RX motor. Uh, they came in various colors, um, as you can see here. Um, the yellow one is probably one of my it's probably the favorite one out of the two if i'm honest it's it's in nice condition uh i, I quite like the color um once again running the rx motor made in spain um once again the detail even on this one that they're, they're, they're absolutely identical um so there's not a lot in it at all really um sometimes you can find that there's a, a fair amount of damage towards the back uh where you can see these would get snapped off um and they're not actually easy to find replacements. Um, so if you can find one that's intact and purchase it that way, that's that's definitely sound advice um, because trying to repair these afterwards can, can be a pain and, and also to find all these missing parts. Um, so what we'll do is we're, we're open up one of these. We'll probably open this one. So I'll put this one to one side. Um, so looking underneath, this, this is held in all by screws, um, sort of similar to this sort of 19 free period cars. Um, they started to, to do away with the, with the retaining clips that you find on some of the earlier cars. Um, but also it's around this sort of period they started to phase out the RX motor as well. Um, so it's sort of, the RX motor was coming to the end of its road really with, with, with Scalectrix using this. Um, but in Spain, they, they, they were using it, say, a bit longer um, than we were in England. Um, but I, I do believe these were made in England as well. I just I think they're probably a little bit more rare. Um, I could be wrong on that. So let's open this up. So these screws shouldn't be very tight at all. Because um, once again, when doing them back up, um, you have to be very careful not to over tighten because they're, they're screws going into a plastic thread. Um, so um, you, you just, you really don't need to tighten them down a lot at all, really. Um, let's see if I can get really take these out. Okay, perfect. So we'll turn this over. And then we'll carefully lift this out. The the area to be careful actually when you're lifting these body shells off is depending how they were put together. Um, like I've taken a few of these apart before and the rear has either been completely glued together or it's in separate pieces. Um, so it's always good practice just to turn it over and carefully take that apart and just to see what's ha actually happening at the back here. Okay, so that's completely attached to the to the body shell. So we'll put the chassis to one side and have a little closer look at this. So what you may find sometimes is these are glued, are all glued in. Um, let's have a look, see what this is. Yeah, so they've glued all this in. So just to show you at these points across here, um, if I can show you in a better light, turn that so we can okay like that you can see at these points there um 
these are not always glued into place. So sometimes this frame will come away with the chassis. Um, the same as this engine bay here. Um, as you can see at this point there, it would be attached to the sh chassis. Uh, this one hasn't, although the plastic clip is on there. Um, somebody has, has glued this, probably trying to, to, trying to give this a little bit of stability really. Um, it's not a problem. As you see, we, we managed to take it apart without breaking anything. Um, so let's have a look at the chassis and the motor. So with the guide, as you can see, there's a there's a brass capping nut there. So that, that passes all the way through and there's an internal thread. And there you've got a brass screw and that screws all the way through and retains this guide in place. Um, a really good idea because it means you can change the guide without having to take the body shell off. Um, the wires all to appear to be in good condition. They're, they're very long, um, so they could do have probably been snipped back a little bit, um, but we won't do that today. Um, all the locating pins are intact, which help the body shell locate on there. Uh, and the RX motor probably could do it just a little light clean at this point of, of contact where we have the, the brushes, um, if I can turn that into the light, the brushes there probably need probably need a little bit of cleaning. There's a lot of meat on those brushes um, and it does feel quite stiff. Um, so we'll give this an oil as well. So first up we'll clean the point of contact and then give it a bit of an oil. So just using a cotton bud and, and uh, some alcohol solution. You literally just want to place a tiny bit of alcohol on the end of your cotton bud. Turn the motor and place the cotton bud right on the point of contact and then turn the motor. And have a little look. Yeah, so uh, quite a bit's come off that. So it's just a touch more alcohol. Place that back on there. Just give it another couple of turns. Okay, that's brilliant. That's, that's brought that up lovely and clean. I don't know if you can see that there. It's now got a nice shine to it. So we'll pop a tiny bit of oil in there as well. You want to do is just turn the motor up so the, the pinion's facing up in the air. Place a tiny bit of oil just on the spine of the motor there and just up by the pinion. And, just, and then what we want to do then is just to turn the motor and just allow that oil to run down into the sponge, you could say, filtered area at the two points of the RX motor. And this will um, will soak up the oil um, and just help free that motor up. And that's already filling far looser now. So that's exactly what that needed. Um, I may put a tiny bit on the axle actually by these bearings. And um, the amount of oil is tiny. You don't need to place a lot of oil on there at all for it to, I, mean, I would say, are for every use. Um, it's probably good practice just to pop a tiny bit of oil on there, just to keep the, the motor in good functional condition. Um, so we'll pop the body shell back on. Um, as I mentioned before, taking into consideration that this has got to reattach the chassis uh, when placing it back on um, and also being careful not to pinch any of the cables wires so we place that on just make sure that slides in to its location and those locating pins will help guide that body shell on let's place our screws back in So in order of the screws, 
which I'll just quickly run through with you. You have the two shortest screws at the front of the car, the two longest screws in the center, and the one in between the four at the very back. As I mentioned, you really don't want to wind these down too tight. I tend to take them all down to a point where I feel resistance. And then once I'm at that stage, I'll go back and just give a tiny turn until I feel until I can feel it biting onto the thread. And like I mentioned, you really don't need to over tighten these at all um, because it doesn't take a lot to, to wreck the thread. Okay, that's perfect. So what we'll do next then, we'll run this up, just make sure that motor's working as it should. Okay, so we'll run this motor up. We'll keep the volts low initially, just to give those brushes time just to reseat themselves. And then we'll increase the volts. So I'm just gonna lift the rear wheel slightly. Okay, that come on very nicely. Now I'm gonna slowly increase the volts. working perfectly thank you for watching my video i hope you've enjoyed the content and found the tips of use as always if there's any uh, information you would like to share on this car or any helpful tips um any information is is always helpful to myself and others uh please leave it in the comment section and i'll try my very best to get back to you but thank you very much and i'll see you at the next one